Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be covering a whiskey which has unfortunately been discontinued now, and that's the Old Pulteney 17 Years. Now, Old Pulteney itself is one of the most northerly distilleries on mainland Scotland. In fact, it's beaten only by Wolfburn. Before then, you get the, uh, the islands up in Orkney. So that makes it a Highland distillery owned by Inver Inverhouse Distillers. And as I said, this has been discontinued. Unfortunately so. It was first released in 2004 and they uh, announced it discontinue sometime 2016-2017. Uh, and they announced it for stock, stock level problems. That's uh, officially been discontinued now and the range has been reintroduced almost. So we lost the 17, we lost the 21 and we've been having reintroduced a new 12 year old, a 15 and an 18 year. So there's been some questions about the stock level differences, but it is what it is. They've uh, taken the opportunity to have a little bit of a repricing as well. This itself has seen a little bit of an increase over the last few years. It's now up to about £75 for a bottle. So it's, it's fairly expensive for the average drinker. And we'll get into whether that's worth that a bit later on. It's also bottled at 46%, which is not to be sniffed at. I think that's a pretty reasonable, reasonable ABV to be getting on with. I've actually covered a couple of, uh, of Old Pulteney's before. I've covered the 12 year old as was, not as is. Uh, that I'll put a link up here. But if you really want to see something entertaining, my third ever proper review, I covered the Old Pulteney Duncan's Behead, which was a travel retail exclusive lent to me by a friend. And as I said, it's my third ever review. So it's a bit poor, the audio's poor, and the, uh, the music's a bit strange, but if you want a good laugh, go and check that one out as well. Let's check out this poor old 17 and see if it really is worth pining after or if it should be left with the new 18. On the nose then. So for me, it's, it's quite a sweet nose. It's not like overly sickly sweet, but it's, it's quite sweet. Some vanillas from the uh, ex bourbon barrels I wager. Quite a lot of brine notes on there. Definitely some salty things going on. I quite like that about Old Pulteney though. The, uh, the Pulteney distillery has a pretty characteristic flavour profile, I think. Uh, it's one of those really briny, salt sea salty distilleries, a little bit like Talisker in a sense. I think once, once you've got used to all of that, there's there's some floral notes and some grassy notes there, kind of not quite hay-like, but more fresh grass than hay. Let's try a bit on the palate. Mm. Now, it takes a second or two, but there's this really huge hit of heat, some pepperiness going on. It probably takes about a second or two on the tongue. To start with, it's quite mellow, quite um, quite understated. Then this kind of big hit comes out of nowhere. And then once that's gone, it subsides again, and you're getting more of that stuff you've got on the nose, some more of that brine, the vanillas, the floral notes, grassy notes even. But I think it's one of those whiskies that really does benefit from sitting out on the side for a period of time. When you first pour a dram of it, especially from a brand new bottle, it's quite harsh, I think. But uh, 5, 10, 15 minutes even in the, uh, in the glass sitting on the side. Before I recorded this video, I poured this out about that sort of period of time. And it kind of mellows out a little bit and opens up. For me, I really, really like the kind of characteristic flavour of Old Pulteney. So it, I'm going to mourn after it a touch. I haven't tried the new ones yet, the, uh, the 15 and the 18. Uh, I'd definitely like to try the 12. And I think there's a, a smoky no age statement one as well that I'll be interested to give a go. So I can't comment if these are worse or better than those, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm a little bit sad that it's been discontinued, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think it's probably one of those things where stocks maybe not, but uh, I think the, the stocks of the 21 was something definitely in question because they've reduced that to 18 years. But I think it's probably a good opportunity for them to uh, kind of reprice it because I think the 18 one is pretty pricey. But you know, if you can get it, it's still available. If you can get it, I would recommend at least giving it a go, but I think it's a pretty good whiskey. 